Hi, I'm Michael Farr, Chairman of the Board of the Sibley Memorial Hospital Foundation and a member of the Board of Trustees of Sibley Memorial Hospital. Sibley Memorial Hospital has been treating patients in our community, providing health care for 125 years. Our partnership with Johns Hopkins Medicine allows us to pursue innovations in health care in the treatment of disease and cancers that we hadn't thought possible before. Soon, Sibley Memorial Hospital and Johns Hopkins Medicine will be able to offer a new cutting-edge cancer treatment called proton therapy. This is hugely advanced medical technology that will forever change outcomes and lives of many patients, both adults and children. He's really known no other life besides cancer. So Mo is uh, a boy who was diagnosed at two years old um, with a rare kind of cancer. There's a computer right here. <laughs> Mo is an incredibly special kid. There's never a bad day. He treats the radiation machine like a spaceship. It's amazing how resilient these kids are in everything they go through. <laughs> For Mo, radiation therapy means severe side effects, such as complete blindness and other complications. But new, cutting-edge technology called proton therapy would offer kids like Mo a better quality of life. With proton therapy, we would have been able to completely uh, block that eye so that the risk of him going completely blind would be very, very small. But the problem is, there are only 10 proton machines in the country. And for many families with sick children, it's impossible to go to another city for treatment. Unfortunately, the family couldn't access proton therapy because his mom's a single parent. He has siblings at home. They don't have resources, monetary resources, and other social support resources to allow them to move to another city. It's incredibly difficult. Um, I mean, it's really heartbreaking. Here's how proton therapy works. A proton, this subatomic particle, actually weighs something. It actually has mass. It's not just a wave. So if one can get that particle sped up to nearly the speed of light, can you imagine going nearly the speed of light? It now has very powerful properties to kill cancer cells. But when it interacts with human tissue, it's different than the x-ray. It doesn't penetrate all the way through. We can tune it just precisely so it can go to the right location and stop and deliver all its radiation dose at that spot, but none thereafter. Sibley and Johns Hopkins need proton therapy to become a living laboratory of medical innovation in Washington, D.C., and the world. I think it's tremendously exciting. The partnership with Johns Hopkins that we have here at Sibley Memorial Hospital is truly extraordinary. Johns Hopkins is a world-class oncology uh, destination, and by virtue of now having the Proton facility here at Sibley in Washington, D.C., we will not only be a destination for our community and our region, but I think we'll be a national and international destination as well. Bringing Proton to Sibley and Hopkins will cost $130 million. Our new hospital will cost $280 million. Will be better than yesterday? And we are committed to make that happen. You. Now you're a little down yesterday, so I'm glad you're feeling better. Young Mo is only one type of patient that Sibley will be able to treat. With our talented physicians and Sibley's prime location in the nation's capital, we will be able to help many people, not just those in Washington, D.C. Almost any major city in the world can get, patients from those cities can get to Washington, D.C. within one or perhaps two plane rides. So it is a central place if you think about treating patients from around the world. This incredible piece of technology, coupled with our exceptional physicians and staff, will change lives. Our goal is to restore wellness for all who pass through our doors. Sibley Memorial Hospital has been built on philanthropy. So much is possible because of the wonderful generosity of so many visionary donors like you. From all of us at Sibley Memorial Hospital and from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for all that you do, all that you've done, and all that will be possible 
because of you.